इट्स टाइम फॉर एन ऑस्ट्रेलिया हॉल आई कैन टेल यू गाइज हाउ एक्साइटेड आई एम अबाउट ऑल द ट्रेवल कॉन्टेंट हॉल आफ्टर थ्री लॉन्ग इयर्स Okay I'm going to show you what I'm most excited about first this so I um had no plans of buying sneakers on this trip or anything um honestly I haven't bought as much like from a fashion angle I bought more other random things which I will show you guys obviously so we walked into a foot locker which is usually like webhub's thing where he wants to buy gym stuff and all of that and I saw these and they were like screaming out to me and I was not really looking at buying sneakers and I don't like I was like I have so many that I don't really need them but these were orange and black and guys they were just screaming out to me and I had to try them and when I tried them I was like Um so yeah these were 180 Australian dollars which is okay I will do all the math and put it here for you guys cuz um you guys know I'm terrible at math but yeah these are beautiful and these are mine Then we have one of the must buys in Australia which is uh, Lucas Popo ointment uh you guys have seen this I think in my last Australia haul as well um someone bought me this when they went to Australia years ago I can't think like remember who but That's when I discovered it. It's an amazing, amazing, amazing ointment for all things. So burns, rashes, cuts, dry lips. It's like one of those, you know, miracle um, cream ointments type thing magics, and everyone should have one of these. I bought a lot of these, gave them as gifts, and I got some for me as well. Okay, up next we have some masalas, guys. Look at me, I'm so domesticated buying masala. Did you ever think that Sherry would come back with Australian masala? Actually, it's on masala. They like spices, but yeah, masala only. Um, so this was on one of our walking tours. You know, Melbourne has a lot of arcades, and there are a lot of these tours that they do to give you like the history. So this is in one of the old arcades. I think Block Arcade has a spice store, um, and there was like a whole story, a whole history behind it, um, which is what I tour guide gave us. And she said they have some amazing spices. So I bought. uh two of the rubs one is the Aussie bush uh, pepper blend and one is mama's meat ball blend because we do um like a lot of meat as you know and we do a lot of these rubs and stuff like that so these were not really cheap i don't have the prices on me anymore cuz they're not on this but you have to buy them like by the gram so i just bought a little um for um, us to have so dinner is going to be one of these <laughs> Then we have these so guys Christmas is coming and I wanted to get some Christmas decorations. So whenever I travel around Christmas time um I always do like to pick up some Christmas decorations and that's how we did it in this house right like my mom had collected decorations over years and years of traveling and from here and then you kind of keep them you pass them down. So even with our tree I kind of wanted to do that where I collect different decorations and We already have quite a few unique ones on our tree. Um so when we saw these we bought quite a few this time. So we have this one which is a cute rainbow. Um we have this Santa um who's quite like cool. Like we have really like this one. He's got tattoos. He says no regrets and uh, yeah. He's a cool Santa. And uh, we have the Grinch obviously. And this one is in honor of a uh, little kitty cat sammy you guys know our compound cat that we have loved uh, so we had a lot of mars uh, like decorations like over the last two years a lot of people have sent me personalized like mars like decorations but we didn't have anything for sammy so we thought we'd get her uh this one because this is what she does the most <laughs> so those were all from one of my favorite stores called typo uh you guys probably know this store a lot of you i'm sure shop from it i love it it has like a mix of stationery stuff and all this cool quirky like fun stuff um i also bought a 2023 planner um from there now i know i get a lot of planners a lot of the times uh, as gifts and i use a lot of them but i really love this one like i love you know the front of it the layout of it it has like one page per day so you can write a lot usually i end up using two three planners uh for different things like i have one which is work one which is personal one which is for notes um so yeah i really really love this one and um i could not not get it up next we have something personal that i uh, bought like something personalized that i bought from the queen victoria market so the queen victoria market is like this really really large market that you have everything like 
fruits vegetables clothes you know souvenirs you get everything there and i bought this rose gold bangle basically um you know as parsis we believe good words good thoughts good deeds and that's what this says um so weber actually bought a ring that said gratitude and uh, i was like oh i like you could personalize whatever the guy was writing whatever you wanted on it and you guys know i love me a good like bracelet stack and i've been looking to get like an asho farover which is like a uh angel to add to my uh bracelet stack but i thought why not get this in the meantime so got this bangle and um, it's just something i guess that we follow and that means a lot to me so i thought it would be nice to have it to wear every day then we have my usual favorites my birth bees lip balm and rose i also bought another shade uh, red dahlia which i have bought in the past as well so this is more like ready and dark and this is more like pink and natural Uh you guys know how much I love this and how much I use it so I just thought maybe it'd be nice to have another shade as well because lately I've been using a lot of the Maybelline baby lips which is kind of like this one um so I thought I'd get both these now these were not uh, much cheaper than what you get them here or any of that I just actually walked into one of the pharmacies I saw them and because I use them a lot I was just tempted and I bought them <laughs> okay uh there's no like could have bought these here as well it was just that holiday shopping of like oh let me get my favorites i always use these i should buy them so bought them then we have one of the most important items guys wine <laughs> you cannot go to australia and not buy australian wine now i don't mean like duty free wine because obviously you can get wine at duty free and i did get some extra but um like you have to go to the vineyards there to the wineries taste wine try what you like and buy you can always pack it in your suitcase that's how i got these two um so these are from pomenal estate which is uh, a winery at um, the grampians near hals gap where uh, i actually did like a tasting and these were some of the best wines i have tried okay so um the tasting was like little little cups of wine and um, with chocolate i did a wine and chocolate pairing and i actually ended up finishing all the wines like normally the tasting i try some i don't like some you know you try you spit out you like whatever here i was like mm great next one mm great next one mm great and then i left with two bottles so now coming to the clothing items i didn't buy that many clothes cuz the clothes are kind of expensive and um, honestly i wasn't really sure of what i really wanted on this trip so as i said i become domesticated buying masala and wine <laughs> now uh, but uh, i did buy some stuff now this one i never even tried this this is from kmart yeah they have kmart in australia still guys um of course it was orange and really really pretty orange and blue and i thought it's cute and i like the short dressy kind of vibes you know where it's like straight and then it becomes a little frock like um if i may say so um and yeah i just really like this i thought it was cute and i got it then we have these yes guys i did buy a lot of orange things i know before you start commenting and buying like did you buy orange shoes orange pants orange dress and there's also an orange top so just like let's just ignore that and move on uh these are cargo pants that are orange yes and they were really cool these were expensive i think they were 60 dollars um so around close to 3000 rupees i think and i remember trying them and thinking and all of that and i was at a point where i had bought nothing at that point like i think i bought one thing so i thought okay i should just get them i bought nothing uh and then i bought a few more things but yeah no regrets i really like them and i think i'm going to be wearing them a lot they have their like pockets and uh, these are from cotton on i bought a lot of their stuff when i traveled before and yeah really like these then we have some stuff from valley girl another store that i've shopped from uh, last time as well when i was in australia i don't know if it's an australian brand or you know what but these were like just little cheap crop tops like this is like a corsetty vibe because it has that rounded bottom like this was in azilian colors but i thought the green was really nice and i don't really have like a forest dark green like this color so i thought i'd get it and yeah really like this one And then we have the orange top I mentioned. It's a really, really cute little top with uh, hearts. So it's like a lighter orange with darker orange hearts. These were again not very expensive, just like you know, very basic, cute everyday stuff that you can wear with jeans or pants or whatever. Um, and yeah, I do not have excuses for this uh, anymore. I like them. I bought them. <laughs> Now this I bought from H and M literally just before we left for the airport. Uh, it was on discount, right? Like you can still see the tag. It says fourteen ninety nine, uh, fifteen dollars, which was really nice. I thought for a jacket like this, it's a 
ब्लैक डेनिम हाफ स्लीव ओवर साइज जैकेट विच आई थॉट आई विल गेट अ लॉट ऑफ वेयर आउट ऑफ एंड यू नो आई बाय अ लॉट ऑफ कोट्स जैकेट्स वेस्ट दीज कैंड ऑफ थिंग्स Uh, on sale, and I never bought anything else from H and M, but I saw this in the sale rack, and I thought it was nice, and I bought it just before leaving, and literally carried it back in my hand luggage. Like, um, and I was like, oh, it's my size too, so I was like, yeah, we can share another justification of why I got this. Okay, so let's try everything. Are you guys ready? So guys that is all the stuff that I bought from Australia um I actually really like everything that I bought and this time I was a little more mindful I didn't want to just you know go nuts and shop crazily because I was going out of the country after 3 uh like long years and I just felt like okay I should like kind of take it easy and not uh, just buy everything inside I bought a lot of gifts and uh, a lot of other stuff for people like my nephews my friends my parents uh but yeah i didn't want to just go and splurge so i thought i'd buy things that i will really use and that i really like so that's the stuff i got comment below with your favorite items from the haul and what you loved see you guys bye